How's it going, YouTube? Chris here, my home theater. Got a brand new video for you today. I want to show you guys what I've been working on since this morning. Uh, I've been working on this my rack, getting my amp installed, and I knew I had to take all those uh, Rockville amps out, and I got everything rewired, cable management done. So uh, let's flip this thing around and let's uh, see what we got here. So guys. Overlook the floor. I've been working and uh, we're going we're gonna to take this thing, clean up later. But this is my rack. This looks a lot better now. Got a few more things here. That's the, the thermostat. I need to drop it over here, tie it up. But that's the thermostat that lets you know where to do. Uh, that's the power cord. I got to tie it up or the fans up here. So I got a few little odds and ends things to do, but yeah, uh, it's my Panasonic player. It's got it set up on top, just sitting on my Sony on the shelf. I'm gonna take this Sony out and I'm gonna take it in the living room. Uh, got me Mativa and it's sitting on a shelf. I really thinking about getting some rack mount ears for it, but I don't know. I just might just keep it on the shelf. Uh, so then I got my PS5. That's the reason I'm taking this out. I'll take this into the living room and go in my home theater set up in there. I had a PS5 out here and I got a couple of more shelves coming and we'll uh, separate this. I put uh, mount the PlayStation up here and I'll put this monster line conditioner on another shelf because right now it's sitting on my AC Infinity fan, which is keeping the Outlaw cool. Outlaw sitting on a shelf and this PV amp is running my Chase Audio Subs and it is a 7,500 watt amplifier and it's rack mounted. Got my AC Infinity fan, keeping the Monolith X7X cool. And we got the SunTron in the bottom. Now the SunTron is not running anything. Uh, that was running my Chase Subs, but I ended up uh, you know, getting the PV amp so I left this in there because if I get a, another, do a sub or sub build or something for behind behind the couch, I can uh, bridge it. Now amp does like 2,000 watts, so it'll, it'll do pretty good for that. So I didn't want to take it out, and plus it's heavy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the monolith weighs 93 point something pounds, just a beautiful amp. I've been doing some testing, been watching John Wick. I mean, whatever. What better way to test out an amp than to put in John Wick? And uh, my goodness, things done a good job. I will be putting it through its paces, and I'll definitely do a follow up video to the unboxing on my thoughts on this amp and how it's performed. But from what I heard earlier while I was working, I hadn't really turned it up, sat down, and listened. It is doing its job. It made these surround speakers, it made them come alive, buddy. So, and the front seemed like it was doing well. So, so pleased with it. I do like all the blue lights, everything matched. So that's got a little blue light right in the middle. And of course the PV's blue, Outlaw's got the blue. Ah, the PlayStation is a clear light, but but uh, even Tiva's blue. And then I got the blue LEDs. So everything, it looks cool. And I turned my lights on earlier today cause I hadn't had them on in a while. And my rack's blocking the screen and I got my room's a mess guys so just overlook it so so that's what the front looks like what does the back look like well I can tell you now it looks a whole lot better than it did now these wires are just extra and they just pull back in here I mean I can throw them back in, in there or whatever it's my false wall that I built so let's look at how this looks in the back much, much better. I got a few little things to do. When I get another shelf, I want to move these, uh, my Apple TV and my uh, Harmony Hub, I want to get it off of here. And that, that way I can kind of do these wires a little bit better. Right now, I'm just setting them there because I don't have another shelf right now. But they're coming and it's supposed to be here Monday. So I got the wire management looking pretty good. I said I got to tie, tie, tie these cables up here. Got to tie those up, but you know, I'm tired right now and I ain't eat all day and today it's, it's, it's been long. So 
I got I got to stop for a little while and rest. I've been I've been sick about all last week. I was sick last night, yesterday. So, but I got this morning and felt halfway decent. So I got out of here, but I can tell I'm getting getting tired and weak again. So I'm gonna have to sit down and take a break. So let's get this video going again. Um, here's my wire management. Got got that in. Um, so the cables. Uh, this is all my HDMI and stuff here. And then here's all my uh, XLR cables here and all my power runs down the sides and the power cables run into here to the power strip there. And then, I mean, it could be better, but I mean, it's not, it, it, trust me guys, it's better than what it was. I wish I could put a bit, picture of it. If you follow me on uh, Instagram or something, I could I'll probably post a picture on there. And, you know, I'm the only one that really sees this stuff all the time and don't really pull the rats out. I mean, I guess I could, you know, buy the uh, heat shrink stuff and put on here and make it look real pretty. But, I mean, guys, we I don't normally ever see this stuff. And that's just like my label makers, piece of tape with a magic marker. But this is what I was talking with yesterday about the, uh, the banana speaker connectors or whatever. Uh, they have to the black and red plastic i reckon that's okay but these look better to me and i see a lot of manufacturers use they use those so i wish speaker connectors please so i wish they would have kind of used that here maybe it's better maybe it's not maybe it, maybe those are better i don't know those look better I mean, the Outlaw amp is a very, very, very good amp. And that is running all my height speakers. As you can see, I got six height speakers. So I have one extra channel left. And just realized I had that plugged into the wrong input. Glad I was looking. Y'all probably would see that and said, hey, you got something wrong. See, I don't have nothing in there. Huh. That's, that's crazy. So... Glad I caught that. I'd have been saying, why ain't my speaker working? Right there. So guys, this is what it looks like here. And uh, you know, the speaker wire just kind of run down, stuff up under there. So that's what we got there. Oh. So we'll close that back. Uh, but I love this rack. It's a 42U. I think it's 83 inches tall. Got plenty of space. Uh, did I need all that? I don't know. I had it pretty full, and it looks pretty full now. Once I put my network and stuff in there, I may have a few empty spaces to maybe put equipment in that I'm going to, if I get to that point to be able to uh, review, maybe I'll you know have space to do that with. So Anyway, guys. That's it. It's my rack. It's my cable management. Tie this video up. So, guys, that's my video today. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're gonna be getting back with you soon. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the the monolith amp. I, as I had it playing earlier, it did sound good. So we'll give you a review on that, and uh, probably sometime early next week. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you got any kind of tips or tricks or anything. It's, so things you see I need to change. Uh, let me know. Drop down in the comments. Let me know. And let me know what you think. So guys, y'all have a good weekend. And we'll see you again real soon.